Yeah, I, I can be heavy on the pedal. That's why the DOT turned on cameras today in various construction zones, hoping to slow down people who ignore the speed limit. DOT and the Thruway Authority have been warning drivers for several weeks about the new speed cameras. So speeders be warned, because now you're on candid camera. Well, my thought would be, or my concern would be, what if my son borrows my truck and gets a speeding ticket? Who's going to pay for it? And how do I explain that to the bureaucracy? Well, it sounds like you're going to have to pay for it. How do you feel about I, I don't think that's right. If I was kind enough to loan somebody my truck, they should have to pay the ticket. Drivers can tell when there is a camera just ahead. Orange and white signs with the camera logo are posted just before the work zone, along with speed limit signs. One is here on the 400 between Maple and Girdle Roads. It is kind of an invasion. Uh, it's, it seems to be fairer if the policeman stops you and you, you get to discuss it or maybe explain some things this way. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty uh, unfair. Now there are five different locations that these three cameras will be rotating in between. I've reached out to the Department of Transportation and the Thruway Authority to answer your questions about these cameras, but they told me they were unavailable to speak. But this is what they had to say about the cameras a few weeks ago. They're not going to be permanently in any one work zone, but there's always going to be a warning that this um, technology is in effect. So again, the purpose is not to generate revenue, it's to, you know, keep lives Safe. The state DOT says there were 387 work zone crashes in 2021. Some drivers may not like their moment on camera, but others welcome it. Terrific. It's, it's what it should be. Um, the workers will be safe. Um, the, the drivers will be safer. And we just want to make a quick correction. As you saw that number, it was 378 rather than 387. But the DOT is giving grace periods for first offenders. So warnings will be mailed to you instead of getting a fine. But after violations start at $50, three or more will cost you $100. In the newsroom, Keelan Barian, Channel 2 News.